What's up, it's Anime Alex, and I'm back again with another anime review. This time it's going to be about on chapter 941 of One Piece. Don't mind this setup. I know it's not my normal setup, and I'm sorry for that. The room is currently being used. Now, now we start off the chapter with a, a color page. Luffy's arms blown up. So the end of the sea. And we see that Frankie has a gun, it seems. Nami's doing the whole hitchhiking pose. Sanji's just laying down or like sitting down, holding up a sign that says with you anywhere. Chopper and Nami, oh yeah, Chopper and Nami are doing the hitchhiking pose. Robin's just sitting on a suitcase. Zora's just sitting down. And Usopp is putting over a mat that looks like the road over Brook while his soul is out. So, you know, a little fun. A little fun sketch. We start this... Uh, we start this... Um, chapter off with Orochi uh, being upset and sad that Komurasaki's dead and he was talking to Kiyoshiro, uh, the leader of the Yakuza, about how uh, Komurasaki's grave, everyone's going to like gather around his grave and so they were talking about how they caught caught the midnight boy which was a thief and they were talking about how they were going to execute the midnight boy at komurasaki's grave uh we flash uh over to udon prisons and queen is crying over komurasaki's death uh meanwhile luffy and hyoto are fat because I'm pretty sure they ate all the food. All the dongo. After that, we... We head over to Kuri. Um, and we've seen that Ashura Doji, or Shutemaru, whatever you want to call him, is actually laid waste to, like, a forest... And it's just on fire. Kinemon and uh, Dogstorm are heading over there to try to recruit Ashura because they say they need to or else they would not win the war. Um, we see Hold'em. Uh, we see Hold'em looking up like a bounty, I think, uh, for... No, he's holding up the uh, note that says Shudemaru's bandits are here. So he suspects that they died in the fire. Meanwhile, we flash over to Brooke, who basically goes in the house where Otoko and Komurasaki are laying with Zoro, and they're making. A, and Brooke is saying how he's a lucky guy and how he was expecting. You know, it was just. A really funny misinterpretation, thinking Zoro was sleeping with Komurasaki. Anyways, uh, besides that, we have um, we hear that Midnight Boy is actually Yasu, and he was a Damio back then when Kazuki Odin was in charge, and they call him like Yasu the Hedgehog. So Otoko runs out. And Zoro follows Otoko. Komurasaki and Zoro follows Otoko. So this might lead into a Zoro versus Orochi fight. That will soon take place. And everyone appears and uh, to gather around Komurasaki's grave. And Yasu is on like a cross. He's crucified. And he was and his last words are Yasuku or Yasu or is trying to say his last words and he needs to say something so we don't know what he will speak until the next chapter 
all in all, um, nice setup. So, uh, four out of five, uh, sorry about that. That's my spec. Anyways, I gotta see you. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys later. Uh, like, subscribe, and everything. Uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.